hey guys welcome back to this tutorial on electrical network design in this tutorial we're going to see how to determine our plug settings as you can see we have a five bus bar arrangement and on the top bus bar we have a line that is rated at 132 kilovolt flowing downstream a second bus bar also have 132 kilovolt and then the third bus bar at the same potential level on the fourth bus bar we have a 66 kilovolt this means between bus bar 3 and bus bar 4 there is a transformer here and so forth until bus bar 5 we have a 66 kilovolt and from there we can have feeders going into 11 kilovolt um, lower voltage for distribution okay and uh, if you haven't watched the previous tutorial please go and uh, have a look so that you can see how we arrived to this diagram here and uh, we saw how to determine these current transformer ratios as you can see this current transformer here have a ratio of 201 this one have a ratio also of 201 and so forth and the last one here have a ratio of 250 and 1 and that is based on the current the fault current available on the bus bar okay so what is the story here the story here is you have an idmt relay right that is right here and the idmt relay need to send a signal to the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker must trip but the idmt relay itself need to receive a signal based on what the current transformer is seeing from the current that is flowing this way okay but now the idmt relay must operate based on the settings that uh, are set on it and we i have a tutorial that i did on the plug settings of an idmt relay how to to find them you can look the video on the description box get yourself up to date okay so in this tutorial we're going to see how to determine the plug settings for this idmt relay so that it can react on time when there is a full current available okay now before we continue please hit the like button and subscribe to simtech channel so that you never miss more tutorial like this i thank you for that okay now what we're going to do first is to arrange this network into an arrangement that is going to be uh, facilitating us to calculate our idmt relay settings okay now reconstructing the following diagram so that we can calculate our idmt relays plug settings will look something as follow so here we can see now we have our five bus bar arrangement laid out in a different way to facilitate the calculation of the idmt settings so now we're going to work from the lower relays to the upstream relays that way the relays at the bottom that will be thus relay number four here we'll be looking out at the fault that is going to be available on bus bar five and relay three is going to be looking out for a fault on bus bar four and bus bar five relay two we look out for the fault on bus bar three bus bar four and five and so forth and so forth so this is why it's better to lay them out like this and then you can see clearly so now the plug setting we are looking now is for the relays as follow the relay need to get a signal from the current transformer as i've already uh, illustrated there and that signal then must be sent into the circuit breaker to trap the circuit okay but now the key element in order to determine the plug settings for the relays is the current okay the load current that is going to be flowing into the relay because just like a circuit breaker there is a normal current that is flowing when the circuit is operating okay so that current is the load current so the relay must not trip when that current is passing because that's a normal condition the relay must only trip when the current passing through it exceeds the load current in that case it could be the fault current or something a bit a little less than the fault current depending on where the fault occur on your network okay 
Now without any further delay, let's go ahead and calculate the plug setting that is PS4 for relay number 4. Now as we have said, relay number 4 must look at the load current that is going into bus bar 5 and the load there is said to be 40 MVA. We don't know what type of load is there, but we assume these are normal load conditions. So we assume there are no motors or anything that can sky high the current, but we assume it's just a normal load. So it's 40 MVA. So in that we can then calculate the load current based on that. So the plug setting for relay five with a load of 40 MVA will then mean if we know that S load is VL times IL times square root of three in a three phase system, then our load current is given by the formula uh, below. Then our load current is given by the following formula. And from there, we can then choose the load current is 40 times to the power 6, that is 40 MVA, over the square root of 3 times 66 kilovolt. Now, the 66 kilovolt is the bus bar uh, voltage, the bus bar potential that we have there. And that is 66 kilovolt on this bus bar here bus bar five okay and that gives us a load current of 349.91 amp so that is now the load current that is flowing through this relay in a normal condition and it shouldn't trip from that so we're going to set the settings for that so that means then the formula to calculate our plug setting is then given by the following so our plug settings for the relay is equal to I load divided by 0 0.9 times the CT ratio. The CT ratio is the current transformer ratio. For this one here, relay 4, the current transformer attached to it got a ratio 250 over 1. Okay. Now the 0 0.9 means that the normal full load current must not exceed, okay, 90% of the relay settings that we're going to set now. If this condition is not met, then after a brief period of overload, okay, if there is an overload, now which will then cause this to start turning slowly, okay, so the relay will not reset to its initial position after the load current return to normal. So this is why we have to have this 0 0.9 setup, okay, so that we can make sure that the relay continue to operate under the normal condition doesn't trip now the next thing to do now is we we know what the load current is what our ct ratio is we can then calculate our plug setting for the relay by replacing now the plug setting for this relay 4 will then be uh, 349.91 over 0 0.9 times 250 okay and that gives me 1.56 okay 1.56 is the settings for the relay but there are standard values that we can select on. Now the plug settings, as you can see, we have discussed it on one of the videos that I made. So there is a tapping that we can go to select which tapping from the call that we can take that make the call to be energized depending on how much current flowing. Okay. So now these are the standards tappings. We got 50%, 75, 100. 125, 150, 175, and 200%. And you have to choose from the value that you get here, but you can never choose something lower. So for instance, here we have 1.56. So in terms of percentage, this means we have 156%. As we can see, we cannot take 150. That means we are going lower. We must always go higher. Then we have to take the next uh, tap tapping, which is 175%. So our relay setting will then be 175% for the following relay PS4. Okay, now continuing to the next plug settings, that is for relay 3. Now, uh, before we do that, I would like to mention again one small detail on the 0 0.9 here. There is a situation where you are dealing, let's say the loads here are motors, okay? If the loads are motors, we all know that motors, they got a high starting current before the current can stabilize. 
Now in that condition, you have to use 1.1, that is 110% of the relay setting current. So you can see that 110% of the setting current is rated slightly higher, but that is to take care of the high starting current in case of motors. Other than that, if you are dealing with normal loads, uh, you just have to stick with the 0 0.9, okay, which is 90% of the setting current. Okay, now let's carry on here for plug settings for relay 3. Now, plug setting for relay 3, that is this relay here. Now, we know that this relay here is supposed to be looking at the loads, that is the 40 MVA and the 20 MVA for both bus bar 4 and 5. But no, there is something else here, something different in this uh, relay tree here. Why? Because if we come back to this uh, diagram here on the left, bus bar tree on the previous tutorial, we know that this bus bar here, bus bar 4 is 66 kilovolt and bus bar tree is 133, 132 kilovolt, pardon me. So which means there is a transformer here that is stepping down. So there is a transformer there that's stepping down from 132 to 66 and that transformer is exactly at this point here. So there is a transformer there that is stepping down, okay? And that transformer is rated at 80 MVA. Uh, you have to look at the, the previous tutorial that we saw, uh, tutorial one and two where we needed to convert the network into an impedance diagram. There we discuss the transformer rating there. So from there, you know that since the relay is on the primary, so there is a primary and this side is a secondary. Because at a 66, at a 132, the relay is right on the primary side of the transformer. That means uh, this relay is only seeing the current that's going into the transformer. That is the primary current of the transformer not the current that is on the secondary which will be the current feeding into to these two bus bars so that will mean this relay here does not see uh the amount of fault that goes or loads current that goes in into this bus bar he only sees the line current or the primary current going into this transformer that is here at this point before the 66 kilovolt point so Having said that, that means then we're going to determine the load current for that relay as the primary current of our transformer. Okay, so the transformer is rated at 80 MVA. That will then mean our I load will then be equal to 80 times 10 to the power 6 over square root of 3 and 132 kilovolt. And that gives us 349.91. So that's the primary current going into the transformer there. Okay, it doesn't matter how much current there short circuit, but the transformer can only let go what its primary allow it to go because that's the rating. So that is our load current for relay 3. Now, so from that, we can then deduce how a plug setting for relay 3 is going to be 349.91, 0 0.9 times 200. And the 200 is a rating, uh, the ratio of this transformer. So that gives us 1.94. And from our plug settings, standard values, we know that this is very close to 200. So this then means our plug setting for relay 3 will then be 200 percent okay so now we found the plug setting for relay 3 relay 4 the next thing to do is then the plug setting for relay 2 so moving on we can then calculate the plug setting for relay 2 okay and once again relay 2 is only going to see the load current as the primary current that is flowing from here all the way down to the primary current of this transformer that is located here okay as we have seen there the transformer is located at that point so which means this relay here that is now relay 2 is also going to see exactly the same current that is flowing down here to that transformer so which means uh, relay 2 is going to have 
the same load current as relay 3 which we have already calculated that is 349.91 amp okay so from there we can then determine the same plug setting for the relay of 1.94 which give us a 200 percent plug setting for this relay since they have the same uh, ratio as well okay now the next one is to calculate the plug settings for relay one ps1 the plug setting for relay one okay now it gets a little interesting because even though we still have the same primary current that is flowing there but now remember there's something else attached to bus bar 2 there is another load of 20 mva here so that load is also being seen by this relay one so which means we're going to have two currents so one current is going down this way and one current is going down that way so it's splitting okay so we cannot say that because there is a 349.9 m that's going on there so the other current is going down here that means there will be less current there no 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 there is a 349 amps that's flowing this way so that will mean there is another current that's flowing here so which means at this point here there's going to be a much bigger current here that must be something around 400 uh, amps of current because it need to split one going down there the other going this way so in that way we first going to calculate the load for the 20 mva uh, load attached to bus bar 2 okay and then we're going to add it plus a primary current of transformer 1 so that will mean the load for our bus bar 2 with a 20 mva load with a 132 kilovolt because the bus bar here is 132 at that point there and we get a current of 87 point four eight amps and from there we have i load two that is going this way and that gives us three hundred and forty nine point nine one amp so we have two loads current that we then need to add because that is the big i that is flowing through this current transformer that this relay is supposed to get the signal from so from there we then have a total load current of 437.39 so that is the current at this point 437.39 amps are flowing here so they're splitting at this point uh 87 is going down this way to feed this load here and the 349 is going this way to the primary of the transformer to feed these other loads there okay so from there we can then calculate our plug settings by replacing the current we then find a value of 2.43 and from the standard values we know the highest is 2 that is 200 percent so we can't go any lower or any higher so that is 200 percent that will be the plug settings for relay one okay so thank you guys for watching this tutorial Please, I will appreciate a thumbs up and subscribing to Semtech channel. Hit the bell for more tutorial like this. In the next tutorial, we then going to see how to calculate the timings for these relays. When must they trip? When something abnormal happens? Since we just found the, we just determined the plug settings. The next thing is now the timing for them to trip. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Cheers.